Good morning. Uh, it's Randy Owen from Suncoast Hepatitis C Friends. Here again with you to talk about living with hepatitis C. Uh, today's uh, installment deals with um, those we've lost to this disease, uh, our loved ones. Uh, I was ran across some interesting facts here. Now this is from Vertex, which is a pharmaceutical company that supplies drugs that we use to treat hepatitis C in this case. It says here in the United States approximately 4.1 million people have been infected with HCV. Up to 3.9 million of those people have chronic infection, uh, making it the most common chronic blood-borne infection in the country. Can you imagine that? I mean, how much do we hear about this? And, and it's actually, it's actually a, a, a quite prevalent disease, so that should make uh, most people wake up. I don't know that it does. So. Great day today, isn't it? Let me get another shot of coffee. I, I think I need it today. And then here's another thing, it's more than three out of four or 75% of those people don't even know they have it. So, the, you know, the danger there is that people are, are, are going around in their lives not knowing they have it. And, uh, of course, that, you know, gives rise to the spread of it. You know, if, if I cut myself out on the yard uh, mowing the lawn and my wife helps me clean it up and bandages my wounds, she catches hep C, you know, not good, not good. Uh, and this one is the, uh, this, this statistic is really, uh, this is the one that we really have to watch out for. It says the number of patients with decompensated cirrhosis will increase from 30,000 patients to almost 150,000 over the next 10 years. And the problem we have there is that most of these patients will end up uh, with um, using their Medicaid, Medicare services. And it, so it will burden our Medicare system in the years to come. We already know how much trouble that thing's in. So here we are. And uh, one of the, uh, one of the uh, points or one of the uh, goals that I'm trying to do here is to get the government to fund screening, treatment, and just overall awareness of hepatitis before the 150 million people, excuse me, 150,000 people need treatment. You know, it's sort of like the old Fram filter commercial. Remember that? You can pay me now or you can pay me later. Well, one way or another, somebody's going to pay this bill and we're trying to get it to, to we, we take care of this now. And what that will, what that will ultimately do is it will get people treated with four hepatitis C and then we don't have to lose them. I lost two friends to hepatitis C recently. I, my brother who died Here's his poster that we got in D.C. Uh, he died in 19, uh, 2007 from liver cancer. And, and it's a classic case. He'd been under treatment at the VA hospital for 10 years. And, and in, the last, in the last year of his life, they said, oh, oh by the way, yeah, you got hepatitis C. And a year later, he dies from liver cancer. And then my friend Marty, I met, I met Marty through Yahoo. Her poster's over here. I met Marty through Yahoo groups. Uh, she was a member of the Can Hep C group uh, on Yahoo, and uh, w uh, realized that she lived a uh, hundred, few hundred miles, within a hundred miles, say, from my house here in St. Petersburg, Florida. And so we got together, talked off. And Marty, uh, Marty passed away in 2007, also, and God, God rest her soul. She's a beautiful woman. Oh, and she played, I don't know if you can see it, she's got a guitar there. This is a picture of when she was a kid, she played guitar, so I really like her a lot. Yeah. And then here's another stat, statistic uh, that, that is the one that, um, that, that, that we really need to be uh, good. The infection with hepatitis C 
is the leading cause of liver transplantation and is reported to contribute to 46,000, um, excuse me, 4,600 to 12,000 deaths annually. Annually. So we've got a problem, we've got a big problem on our hands, and um, I'm here to uh, try to kick up the dust, you know, uh, get getting getting people's uh, getting people's skin and then make them uh, make it irritate a little bit so that they'll. Uh, They'll do something about it. You know, sort of like uh, we don't bother, we don't mind the mosquitoes as long as they don't bite us. Well, uh, hepatitis C has bitten a lot of people. Today's song, uh, I do songs regularly on here. It's about uh, losing people that we love. Uh, this song's uh, by Pink Floyd called Wish You Were Here.